Hello guys, Mars Freemans here. With the release of Gaia 2.0, now moving your landscapes from the Gaia to Unreal Engine has got a lot easier and I just want to show you how. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the tools, install plugins and choose Gaia to Unreal. So you're going to download the plugin installed. You can choose between the versions 5.3 or 5.4 currently as I'm recording this video. All we have to do is just go to Unreal Engine, go to edit, plugins and search for Gaia. Enable plugin click yes and restart. So now what we can do, we can just create quick, simple thing that we can export. Uh, I'm going to create just a canyon. So I'm just going to find a canyon. Maybe just going to adjust some parameters. I'm um, going to move this. I want something like more open like this. Then I'm just going to add the river and we're just going to make it in. Let's add some river in between. And then what we're going to do is we I just going to quickly color it with set map and actually cool thing now that we have in the new Gaia is so if you could like connect this one and I'm just going to show you quickly more obvious let's find something like something like this so we can see that actually it hasn't colored our landscape very nicely uh, it looks more like a gradient color from the top to the bottom it doesn't look very natural so all we have to do is we can add something called texture base and we can see it immediately has fixed our our texture how it's applied now it's not instead of gradient now it applies in the peaks and the bottoms how it should so now all i just need to do is get back the water because we can see that the water is missing i'm just going to change it to something blue so now we just need to mask it out uh the cool thing now is if you drag this pin out and connect to this one, it's immediately going to make a combine. So how we're going to do it is, is we're going to take the depth, but if we're going to connect right away the depth here, we can see that we still don't see our water. It's because I believe it's because it's not deep enough and there's not enough data information from the depth. So what you can do is actually we can grab out adjustment node, which just to be effect, like it's called effects node. We're going to connect it here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to equalize it and multiply it to something like four. And now we can see the river is back. Cool. So now just to export, all we need to do is add Unreal node. So we're just going to add, let me search for Unreal. We're going to plug it from the river. I'll leave it as a PNG since we are using free version. I'm going to change it to 109. Uh, everything, this is going to be height. And I'm going to add another here on real node for the color. We're just going to set this to the color. Uh, then if you click here, this is actually a very handy thing. If you click here, probably by default it's in terrain. Let's go to the build. Then we're going to click this thing and make sure you have these settings. Let's change it to 1K and everything else can stay. Uh, for terrain, I'm currently just using the default settings. And let's click the execute build. Yes, uh, open folder after build and start building. Uh, go in your only project here. Uh, for some reason, the guy icon is not showing for me, but there should be guy icon here. Click here. Then we're going to click import high map. Uh, find the high map of your project that exported. Click OK and create the landscape. And bam, it automatically did all the calculations. So don't need to calculate anymore the landscape, you know, the size and all that. So it's automatically done. So this was just a quick tutorial how to export now things from the Gaia 2.0 into Unreal. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.